What's up, Collective? Happy 4 to both. Y'all can see my eyes. <laughs> so, Spirit is telling me, whatever you're going through, every little thing is going to be all right. Okay. Um, I just want to have a little fun with y'all. Pull some cards. Now, this reading, even though I'm playing the happy music, we're hoping and praying that no bad energies come out. Okay? So, let me try to turn Bob a little down. And the video will be too loud. Okay, so yeah, um, I'm already high. <laughs> I'm high, I ain't gonna lie. Happy 420, happy 420, yeah, you may get this video, it is 9.54 my time here in Southern California. Happy 420 to all my followers, my subscribers. My likers, my commenters, my donators, and thank you for all the donations and helping me as I'm going through this spiritual war. And I'm asking everyone to donate to me, to my channel. Um, I'm not going to take much of time trying to tell you why I need the donations, but you can go to my lives. And I only got two. Just click on the one. That said, they called the police on me. And then, after you watch their video, if you have it in your heart to donate to me, please help. Because I'm in a motel right now. And I'm asking help for everybody. Okay. And my Cash App is at the top of the of my channel. The Cash App and, and my PayPal is at the top of my channel. So... Um, if you would like to donate to help me raise money to pay for this room that I'm in, um, I greatly appreciate it. Okay. Now, cards that came out for some of you, this could be what comes in these cards are energies, okay? Please keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with your energy. Only take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest. If it don't fit, don't force it. Just relax and let the shit go. All right? So, what I see here, the overall energy for somebody is now somebody or something could have been exposed. Um. Someone could be feeling defenseless towards you. Or you could be feeling defenseless towards someone else. Okay. I see somebody out there who has some sort of gift. But you're not using it. No. Um, that's because you have an energy vampire around you. This, this person that you're dealing with, the heart of someone's energy, is a sex vampire, okay? He drains you sexually. After you are intimate with this person, you are just tired, sleepy, you don't want to get up, go to work, take care of your kids, Cook your dinner, cook your food. You don't want to do that. While this person has stolen your energy and they hop up, they don't cuddle, they leave. Or they'll cuddle with you for a few minutes and then they up and they go. Okay, this is an energy vampire. With that, that yellow ball in his hand, that ball of fire. My eyes ache. That's, that's your sacral chakra. And it could have, it could be your sacral chakra and your solar plexus chakra. Trying to take your happy your happy spot from you. Sexually. Okay. 
Okay. And this is the, the person that's everything is surrounding this energy vampire. This person don't want you to walk in spirit. This person don't want you to heal. Don't want you to do nothing spiritually. And while they trying to control you, they got a sex demon to where either they're prostituting their ass, their dick. Um, and it's been exposed. And see, some of you, you could have known this and you just didn't say nothing. Because this person has given you some sort of piece of jewelry or something. A necklace or something, a bracelet, some earrings to keep your inner, to keep your you from your um, intuition from seeing what he was doing. And he was trying to pump on you to keep your mind blocked, blinded. But see, this is coming in reverse. You're no longer blinded. Okay, they gave you some sort of gift or jewelry. This is a, a sex M, M, uh, energy vampire trying to mess with your intuition, your third eye senses and all that. They didn't want you to use it. And the reason they didn't want you to use it because they was gay for pay. They are selling that ass, one of the two. Okay? So you may be a reader. You may can pick up some cards and read some cards real good. Spirit wants you to heal. worry. Okay, what else, Spirit? What else? I'm sleepy. I'm tired, y'all. I'm so high. I, I, I just really want to go to sleep now. Now, I, I, the, uh, <laughs> the girl that, that works at, at my weed store, she, she be getting us some fire. Boy, they gave me a, a, a pre-roll, and I've been smoking that bad boy all day, and I just got to the end of it, and then I smoked me another one that I rolled myself, and I'm high. Can't you tell? Look at my eyes. Okay. I had to be. It's some kids next door. She got five kids. It's a dog on one side of me and kids on the other. And this is why I feel like Spirit was saying I'm supposed to be here. This is a, it's, it's, it's a lot of people who need healing here. See, this person, whoever this person is, this person who is the male prostitute or the one that's uh, gay for pay, Gave you a necklace or some sort of piece of jewelry to keep you mind manipulation. Now he could have actually he can let me tell you how how this works. So a lot of people don't understand how magic and manipulation works. This is somebody who could have gave you a necklace, right? He don't have to be them put it in no powder or smoke or nothing or however you think witchcraft goes to for this to work on you. When he bought it, he bought it with the intention of you loving him for it. Because it could come in the form of something you asked for. It may not be a necklace. It could be something you said you wanted real bad, but you just couldn't get it. And this person got it for you. And the spell work comes in when they say, oh, if I get, if I get collected that necklace, <laughs> I'll just close my eyes. <laughs> I, I can't see him. I cannot see my eyes. But <laughs> <coughs> this is this is 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 him wanting you to be blinded. And see when when he gave you the necklace, earrings, bracelets, whatever, a piece of jewelry that could be gold. Okay. It's for you to be blinded to the fact that he's selling that ass. Now, this could also be a way they put spell work on you by saying, when I get, ooh, the collector said they wanted a uh, 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 quartz. So, they go and get it. 
So you would, oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, I love you for that. That was the intention when they brought it. Were you thinking that, it, and, and it's not witchcraft in a bad way. Not, not like that, unless somebody is like, here, this person wants you to be blinded to the fact that they doing something in nakedness. Okay? They want you to be blind. They want you to know this. Okay? But see, you 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 have you have a gift or something and you may not know. You may have a gift that scares you. You may have a gift that of reading cards. Clairvoyant. You may hear things, you may see things. But this person wants you to be blinded. And those are some cards on the ground. Though. You can be a tarot reader or an oracle reader. You can be a oracle. Okay? And see, this is the energy of, of you, your crown chakra. Okay? I just see this as the third eye in your crown chakra. With the crown on, you need to learn how to protect your head. This is why I tie my head up every night. That's why you see me a lot of my videos with the scarf on my head because they send out negative energy to try to make you feel some type of way and fuck with your, your thoughts and shit. How to manipulate you. Play little mind games with you. Not wanting you to be aware of the stuff that they're doing that you're unaware of. Okay? So, yeah. I'm going to stop this reading right here because I'm too high and it's 11 minutes and I'll put some little... Hope you like the effects that I, the special effects that I did for this video. Nah, so you gonna find out. Peace.